Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere. In this little mini lecture, I'm going to talk about a master equation for Ka. If you were listening to the previous mini lecture, you will have heard the rather interesting, well, I think it's interesting anyway, the interesting fact that Kw depends on salinity. And indeed, Ka itself depends on salinity. So what I'd like to do is derive uh, a formula for Ka which will be useful in what follows. And that formula for Ka will depend on the total concentration of a monoprotic acid and a monoprotic salt dissolved in water. Okay, so let's suppose we have a monoprotic acid called HA uh, and a monoprotic salt which for example, can be Ka, the metal can be K and the, it doesn't have to be potassium, but let's say it's potassium-like and A is the anion. Okay, now assuming that all the activities are the same as concentrations, so now let's just assume that activity coefficient, the activity is the same as concentration, activity coefficients are one. Then we have the following equations. The total concentration of HA, by which we mean for example, if it's acetic acid, we weigh that acetic acid, HA, on the balance and we dissolve it in the water. We don't know how much of it turns into acetate and how much of it stays as undissociated acetic acid molecules. But we do know how much acetic acid solid we put in the water. So we can work out the total concentration, that's CHA, total concentration of HA. And likewise, we can also work out the total concentration of Ka, for example, if we standardize a solution. The sum of these two uh, quantities uh, gives us, uh, is, is essentially equal to the total A minus concentration. That's equal to the concentration of HA, which is undissociated, plus the concentration of A minus, which is dissociated. These are the only two species with HA in them. If A dissociates, it forms A minus. If it doesn't dissociate it, it forms HA. If we add those two concentrations together, we get the total amount of A stuff in the solution as a concentration. Likewise, we have here the total amount of A stuff by weighing HA and CKA. So this is a very interesting relationship. These are total concentrations, which we get by weighing out and standardizing. And these are actual concentrations of dissociated, undissociated and dissociated quantities. Okay, so that's one important uh, quantity. It's called a mass balance equation because we're equating total masses essentially in a fixed amount of solution of A. The other kind of uh, equation that we can get is a charge balance equation. For most solutions, the charge is neutral a solution is composed of equal number of plus type things and negative type things. So in this case, uh, the total charge of negative uh, charged things is A minus and OH minus. And that has to equal the total amount of plus type things in the solution, which is H plus and K plus concentration. But K plus concentration is just the total concentration uh, CKA. Now, we can use these equations and we can substitute into the acidity constant equation to get this expression over here. How do we get that? How do we get that? Hmm. Shall we leave that as an exercise? We'll do that in class.